show y'all. A lot has been made recently about these liquid to powder foundations. Um, they're been advertised everywhere. So I thought I'd go out and try a couple and do a um, half face comparison. So on this half of my face, I have a very expensive one that I got at Sephora. It's by Hourglass. And it's Hourglass Immaculate um, Liquid to Powder. You've probably seen the ads for it. It's crazy expensive. You can't hardly see that, sorry. It's Hourglass down here, and it's Immaculate. Um, 50 bucks, and it's really difficult to work. It, you have to work in very small sections because it dries so quickly and it turns to powder, and then once you're done, there's no blending. So you have to work in really small sections and work really fast. You're supposed to use your fingers. Don't use a sponge or a brush or anything. Um, they're very specific about it. And, I mean, it's great. It gives tons of coverage. It's almost too opaque. It's almost, I don't know, I mean, this one, these two compared, it's a little chalkier. Um, it's also probably just a shade too light now. But uh, for me, since it's getting, we're getting into the fall and I haven't really, you know, I'm just not as tan. Not that I get tan, but you know what I mean. Um, so, I mean, I like it if you're really good with your makeup and you're, you need something that's super opaque and it will just last and last and last. It's very drying, so that's also something to consider. The other one that I have on this side of my face is the L'Oreal um, Magic Nude Liquid Powder. Um, it's great. I really like it. That's on this side. It's a little more forgiving. It doesn't go to powder. It doesn't dry down quite as quickly. Still, you can't use a sponge. Uh, you need to use your fingertips. Um, but I like it. Now, it's, it's more sheer. It's a lot more sheer, which is great if you're looking for that, that kind of sheer finish. Um, but then I, I always put this on top of pretty much anything. I always have my MAC Studio Fix, and I put that um, on the top of it. Actually, I put that a little bit on this side, too, just because it was a little uneven, just because it's hard to blend. So I think for the money, this is, you know, $10, $12, whatever, you know, foundations are. And this stuff is $50. And I just don't, I don't think it's worth it. Unless you're, it's a wedding or it's going to be really hot and you're afraid your makeup's going to run and you're really, really good with your makeup, you're super skilled with it, and you follow the directions and, and, and. Then maybe, yeah, take a flyer on this, but seriously, you get so much more um, bang for your buck with this stuff. So between that, so you could actually afford to buy both of these together for under $50 or you would just get this. This is a very happy thing. I have it in my desk. I have it in my purse. I have it in every bathroom, they're just like, I have, can't live without my studio fix. So I think this one is the winner. But what do you think? That's that side. That's that side. I'm shooting this off the computer, so the quality's not just great. But um, I'll just tell you, I think this one looks better. In the mirror, I think it looks better anyway. All right. Y'all stay as glamorous as you can stand to be. I'm Maddie Roberts.